Welcome YouTube to my tutorial on how to stir fry cabbage. Step 1. Carefully wash and prepare your cabbage. Next, apply heat to your pan and add oil. And finally, step 3. Get out your vacuum cleaner, crank it to the max setting and start sucking. Welcome back bullies, it's been a while. Today we're revisiting my Kazaha, we're spending a bunch of resin to try to get to that legendary 1k EM, but we're also testing out some new builds. Since my original Kazaha video came out, Dendro has also been released and there's been a lot of new strange builds that have followed. So since we've already leveled up my Kazaha, this video is more about whether you should pull for him and what he brings to the table. But if you're on the fence and you want a short answer on whether you want to pull for him, well, he's one of the best units in the game, he's great for over world and abyss content and he's a lot of fun to play. He can basically do anything and everything except bring his dead friend back. But if you want to see what he's capable of and the weird and fun things we're about to do to him, make sure to watch till the end of the video. Also, has this ever happened to you? If so, then let me tell you about Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. Injured and don't know where to start? With Morgan & Morgan, it's so easy. You can submit your case details, sign contracts, upload documents and medical records all from your cell phone. And you can even text your attorney and legal team throughout the duration of your case. So if you're ever injured in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in 8 clicks or less without having to leave your couch. And for more information, go to ForThePeople.com or dial Pound Law, that's pound 529 from your cell phone. Thank you Morgan and Morgan and back to the video. Alright bullies, so today I'm going to try to fix my Kazaha in that we're a little bit far away from my magical 1000 EM we went for in the last video all the way back, I think it was last year even, it's been a while. And in addition to that, we're going to try out some of the new team comps that have come out. One in particular that I'm very keen on, it's called Stir Fry or Deep Fry? What is it called? Let me have a look. It's called Air Fryer. Air Fryer team comp it involves a few special characters including this special little cabbage special little radish right here so we're gonna be <laughs> testing that out but before we can get there let's have a, a look at what i farmed but also the most important thing we gotta we gotta become a kazaha main real quick okay it's not enough for us to to be a kooky main anymore we gotta we're gonna switch we're gonna role play a little bit this will give us better artifact luck later God, my boomer mechanics. I can't even click the buttons properly. <laughs> this is why we friendship farm, okay? Look at all these borders. The only problem is I don't know which one's Kazaha. Help. We're looking for a, a green one, probably. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. All right. But what have I farmed for him since the last time we took a look at him? Well, weapon-wise, nothing has really changed except I do now have, you know, the event weapon. We have the key, which is, isn't great for him, but does give some EM to the passive. We have Sack Sword, Favonius. We don't have his signature, unfortunately, and I don't think I will be pulling for it in this video, but we will not get to that magical 1000 EM. Since that video, I still unfortunately haven't got a better flower, which is the main reason we couldn't hit it. We're really close, except I couldn't get a flower that gave me more than three EM drops. That was the big problem. I think we're roughly like one roll, maybe two rolls max off getting the 1k EM. So we're going to try to get to that today. I have a lot of artifacts that we can take a look at potentially one of them gets one extra em roll and then we're good in terms of his rest of his artifacts i don't think we're changing much this is already all em set beautiful you know nothing to change them and that way we still have our set bonus except what the hell is this okay this we have to change actually i'm just a liar this whole time i'm i've been lying to you okay it's his hat he can't wear a pirate hat okay he needs whatever this is so we're gonna switch with venti okay so now we're gonna try to fix this piece so pretty much we're gonna get straight into gambling my hope is that we can use an artifact set that actually needs the EM anyway, so it's not completely wasted if we end up switching off him. God, why haven't I leveled this piece? It's absolutely cracked. Unfortunately, I don't know if we have too many of those. There's this piece here that has two EM rolls. Essentially, that means we have three more chances to get two more rolls, so that could be a good contender. I've been so unlucky with some of these rolls. Like here, we've got a bunch of ER and a flat defense roll. It just doesn't want me to hit 1k EM, you know? 
know, it, it just doesn't want me to win. So outside of that, we've also got a crap ton of deep wood pieces. Surely there's got to be one in here that can get us that. So we've got EM pieces here, here, here as well. Surely, surely. Last time, I think I spent like 5,000 resin. Most of it was just artifacts trying to get one single feather. So hopefully we don't have a repeat of that. Fingers crossed. Um, But why not start with this artifact here? It's already got two rolls, although they're a little bit low. All we need is two more and we should be able to hit 1,000 EM. So I guess we're going straight into the gambling. And actually, before we get to that, let me see how far off we are. If I were to switch, switch the weapons. Currently, he has a sack sword. What gives him the most EM? Actually, we should probably level up a Xyphos, right? I just realized I have this weapon and we haven't used it. If you don't have sack sword, this is also a really, really great option because it gives you energy recharge, which is pretty important. This is like the perfect weapon, no? All right, let's do the weapon first, actually. Oh, and I already farmed the stuff. What? I didn't even know. Thank you, past me. Thank you, thank you. All those hours slaving away in every single event, chasing balloons, playing card games. It was all worth it. Wait, what if I don't have enough? Wait, can I even farm this today? Hold up. Oh no, I'm panicking. Um, Monday. Okay, okay, we're blessed. Okay, we need to craft a little bit more. The talisman and the prism, the Dorito chip. I love how they just put gambling in every single aspect of the game. It's my favorite. Mm -hmm. I love when, you know, I just absolutely get nothing. Oh my God. Okay, never mind. I love gambling actually, actually. Sucrose just paid out twice what she's meant to. Okay, and then weapon material. We needed the talisman, I think. <laughs> no, actually, I hate gambling. I changed my mind. We got a third of what we were meant to get. Are you kidding me? Never mind. I love gambling. <laughs> oh, God. Well, let's go finish off that Xyphos. There we go. So that's the Xyphos done. Also, I know a lot of you guys were hoping for a Yoimiya video. I've been a little bit slack, so we haven't gotten to that yet. But if you're listening to this right now, let me know in the comments if you still want to see it. I'm tossing up between a Yoimiya video or I recently got C6 Kai buying the last copy from the shop. So I'm a little bit tempted to make a video about him. Let me know what you guys think. But now we've finished Xyphos. So what does that mean for us? It means we gain energy recharge for each point of EM they possess, while nearby party members gain 30% of the ER. That's honestly pretty cracked. I think Xyphos sounds like a pretty good bet, honestly, especially if you want to still get enough energy recharge on Kazaha. The other option, of course, you know, Sacrificial Sword, always good. The event weapon is also good. There is also his story quest weapon, don't actually use this this is pretty garbage on him of all the weapons you can use iron sting is like a little bit cope i would say that the event weapon is actually still better favonius is always good i'm like the number one favonius and sack sword salesman okay that's not true definitely always a good option if you do have it especially at high refinements so xyphos it is sorry to interrupt but real quick if you're enjoying the video so far please make sure to like and sub it's the best way to support me and it's completely free thank you so much and back to the video our total em is at nine 964. That means we need one. No, we need two more EM rolls. This one currently has two, so it has 44. We need an additional two rolls, aka 36 EM more than this. So we need exactly 80 on this piece. We need 80 on one piece. The one piece is real. No, we need 80 on one piece, and then we should be good to go. Can this piece even get that? It needs 45 EM. Doesn't that mean it has to roll three times? What's the max EM you can get on a roll? Let's find out. The maximum EM you can get from a piece is 23 per roll. That means technically if we get two high rolls, we can get 46. And if we get really lucky and get three rolls, we can get up to 69. <clears throat> I wonder if they did that intentionally. Anyways, so there is hope for this piece. Maybe we go for it. It's flat to <laughs> Uh, well, 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 you know, maybe, maybe it gets two really high rolls and it hits this both times next time. I'm definitely not hitting the copium. That's what? One in four chance, two times in a row. That's one in 16. Plus it has to be high rolls both times. That's definitely doable. You know, absolutely. <laughs> definitely no, not just throwing my resin into this coping. Oh God. Okay. Uh, anyways, Mr. Editor, just, just, just got this out of the video.
<laughs> okay, we're gonna probably fodder that piece. I think that's going in the bin. Um, do we have any other pieces here that have EM? Unfortunately not. So I think we're gonna move to our next set. What is another set that benefits from EM? Probably the deep wood set. And I do have a lot of feathers here. So if I filter on EM, let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces that are level zero that we could level. I think I'm going to go with this one, ER attack EM. It has a really low EM number now, but it has the most useful substats. It, this is like the perfect artifact if it goes EM now. Now just exclusively roll E. Anyways, um, <laughs> like I was saying, exclusively roll EM, please. Mm. It's still a good artifact, but we have to abandon it. <laughs> no, it was looking so promising. This is why we have 10 of these artifacts. On to the next one. <sighs> okay, it has three more rolls. If it rolls perfectly each time. Surely, 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 surely. Mm -hmm. Right here. Okay. Wait. Oh, it's such a low roll. <laughs> I got so excited. How about now? What if it goes into EM one more time? Here we go. Watch this. High roll too. Anyways, uh, on to the next piece. I'm crying. Okay, this is awful. How about we start from the top? This has the most EM on it. This is how cope I've gotten. We've already started negotiating. To the RNG gods, please make this next roll EM. Okay, and it's a huge roll, 19. This is it, this is it, I feel it. It's in my bones, I feel it, right here. EM again. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We have two more chances. It just has to go into it two times. That's absolutely fine. Are we out of fodder? Oh no, we're almost out of fodder too. <laughs> Please, no! <sighs> On to the next one. Um, I'm gonna unfavorite some of these. Okay, this one. High EM roll. It has four stats already. I'm believing. Are you believing? I, I, I know you guys are already believing. You guys would never doubt. I'm just gonna go... I'm gonna go big. I think we're just gonna put all of it in. Straight to level 16. I'm just gonna close my eyes. It's gonna go all EM. I already believe. It went all EM, right? Wait, it actually didn't roll too bad? Wait, what is this? 60? 58? And then it went into crit a bunch. Okay, two crit rolls, two EM rolls. It's actually not bad. Problem is we need 22 EM to get to it. The max one artifact can roll is 23. So it's going to be a little bit tight, but there is hope. It's one in four chance, and then it has to be a high roll. You know, I've I've always believed, Mihoyo. Um, you can take all of this. This is my sacrifice. Here you go. And you know what? What? These two. These are also your sacrifice. Please take them. I believe. There's no reason I should doubt. I don't even know what I'm putting in. I don't even need to check their stats because I believe. And because I believe you're going to reward me with one extra EM roll. Normally I would be ecstatic about all this crit damage, but please. I can't. I can't handle this. <laughs> this is a great artifact in general, but please just give me EM. I'm already getting PTSD from that old video. I had so many mental breakdowns trying to make this work. Okay, watch this. Crit rate, EM. High EM roll. You know, useful stats. I'm going to go straight to level 16. It's going to give me four EM rolls right here. No, oh, God. Okay, I'm just going to... On to the next one. On to the next one. This one. This one. This is built to be the one. Look at it. It's got HP. It's got... <laughs> it's got some really garbage uh, artifacts, substats, actually. But that's fine because the only one that matters is EM. And you're going to give me a bunch of EM. Watch this. Okay, well, we're suddenly really running out of options. How many more do I have? I have one, two, three, four. I got four more. That's it. I guess this one too, technically. If it rolls into EM three times. <sighs> okay, this piece. I've, I've, I've pretty much used all my fodder. It's all gone. Here we go. <gasps> It happened. It happened. It went five times EXP and it happened. Oh my God. 84? I just... I knew I, had, I just had to keep believing. Oh my God, it's it's happening. A thousand and three EM. Okay, we went a little bit over. We, we we outperformed even. Mihoyo was rewarding me with three extra EM. To be honest, I would have liked that clean 1000. I'm not going to lie. It would have looked fantastic. But um, you know what? I'm not going to be picky. It took 10 years to get here, but um, we got it in the end. So now Kazaha has 1000 EM. He has 138 ER, but I think when the weapon... Procs? Wait, 
procs every 10 seconds? Is that how much ER he has already? Is that from the weapon or his artifacts? I think that's purely art of- Oh my god, he has 183 ER. And that's R2 of the weapon. The more refinements you get, the higher that's going to go, actually. Um, suddenly I want to pull on the weapon banner. Is it on it? <laughs> okay, never mind. Just kidding, just kidding. Okay, well, that means our Kazaha is complete, right? He's done. I, I should show off his talents as well. So talents 8, 8, 10 from the last video. Uh, really, you don't even need to level this at all if you're building your own Kazaha. The only thing that really matters is the burst. E is useful to have. It just gives you a little bit of extra damage, to be honest. And the normal attack only gives you that plunge damage bonus. So those are the only things that really that they do from leveling, but it is just kind of cool to have. This one, I would recommend getting as high as you can. So talent level 8 to 10 would be fantastic. His other stuff gives him elemental damage to the team uh, and makes him run faster. Or I guess you have more stamina to use, so you can run longer. God, I love that icon. It looks like Naruto running. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look at our team comps then. Uh, so the team comp that we're planning to use for, what is it called? Air Fryer? It's a bit of a weird name, but it makes sense once you put the team together. So first, you got to put the cabbage in. Secondly, you need to apply some heat, okay? You need a way to uh, cook the cabbage. And then finally, you need to put in your master chef and the vacuum cleaner, okay? The vacuum cleaner is essential to this team comp. It's very important. And that's your team comp there. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Oh, I, I probably should touch on that uh, I don't have any constellations for Kazaha. If you're pulling him and you're thinking about constellations, his C1 is nice, but essentially it just gives you an extra E after you burst and lowers the cooldown. But if I'm being honest, Sacrificial Sword is like the same thing and really don't even need it that much. It's like a little bit more energy recharge. Outside of that, uh, I can't believe his burst is called Kazaha Slash. That's like the cringiest name ever. He thinks he's an anime protagonist. He put his name in his move. Anyways, it gives him a bunch of EM and it gives your team a bunch of EM. It's pretty strong, honestly. It increases the damage of the team a lot, but I wouldn't say it's necessary at all. Kazaha C0 is fantastic as a free-to-play and he has great weapon choices, so you don't need to do any of that. But now onto the team. So the way it works is Nahida, the little baby, God, why does she have a level 20 weapon? Let's just fix things up real quick. She puts Dendro on every single unit and she can refresh it a lot. Bennett is here so that he can, you know, he's the match. He starts the fire. It burns quickly out of control, but he starts the fire. And then Kaza here, he's the head chef. He's orchestrating this whole thing. And then you have Venti here, the vacuum cleaner, just to keep everyone in the circle. And essentially there's like a billion different swells and numbers on the screen. You see a lot of red, you see a lot of green numbers. Uh, and that's what we're trying to recreate today. Where's the best place to demo? this maybe we can start with my commissions also before you say anything um i still am friendship farming so don't judge me but we're gonna put kazaha in so i can demo some of his overworld capability as well and while we're doing this i should talk about whether you should pull for him on this banner because a lot of people are thinking about our hytham versus kazaha which one do i pull for normally i would say pick which one you want because that's the best way to play the game and i definitely do agree but kazaha barely has any reruns this is his second rerun since coming out i believe He's rerun once before, that's when I got my Kazaha, and he had the original banner which only a few people went for, and then everyone realized, wait, he's actually just the best. At the start, everyone thought he was just Sucrose 5 star version. He kind of is like that, but he's a lot more than that too. In terms of whether he's worth it versus our Hytham, our Hytham is a great unit, especially because Dendro is so good, but there's a lot of good Dendro characters in the game. In terms of what our Hytham brings to the table versus Kazaha, one's a DPS, one is, you know, a swelling machine, resistance shred, can be a DPS too. So personally for me, I would pick Kazaha if you don't have him. But if you already have a good Anemo unit that provides a lot of crowd control, aka Venti or Sucrose, or maybe even Farazan, maybe you need a Dendro unit on your team, then I would go out Hytham. But most of the time, I would recommend Kazaha for most people. Also, the other cool thing, while you're gliding, you can still use his ability. And the same when you're climbing. Most people probably know this already, but it lets you get some extra height when you're gliding around. Or when you're climbing walls and you're kind of running out of stamina and you're going to die, you can technically infinitely climb. If you hang onto the wall, jump up, hold on, and then keep doing that each time the cooldown comes up. So like this, you can just get some extra air. I wonder where it comes out of. Okay, actually, maybe we don't want to know the answer to that. <laughs> let me let me put that one back into the shower thoughts. It wasn't done cooking yet. Are we done? Okay. Commission number two done. What else do we have? I still can't get over. I got a thousand. E Wait, why do I have a thousand and fifty? Double dendro. Right. Okay, okay. That gives me another 50 EM. I forgot. I was like, oh my god. Maybe I didn't need to do this this whole time. Uh-oh. 
if you watch my streams at all, you know that this is my arch nemesis. It actually should be the easiest thing ever, but somehow I, I keep failing it. This is why we have Kazaha. So if I, I mess it up, we can fix it, okay? If I think I'm gonna mess it up, we just adjust for it. I, it's like perfectly, you know what? I actually, I, I did that on purpose. I just wanted to show off, you know, how skillful I am. I can lodge myself exactly between these two mushrooms and show off, you know, just, just how skilled I am at the game. <laughs> oh God, cut that out. Does this work? I, how? I'm on the mushroom. I, I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. This is actually the final end game boss. I, I don't know if you've guys gotten this far into the game. Spoilers, it's actually the hardest thing in the game. Wouldn't recommend it, you know, if you're AR, AR 60 or below. Don't try this at home. Okay, final commission. Hello, Jafar. Is this Jafar from, how did I forget the name of the movie? <laughs> Aladdin? Aladdin. Oh my God. Hello, Jafar from Aladdin. He wants to have some minty bean soup. I. Give the cooking ingredients. It's just mint and it's beans. Where are the beans? He's already got the beans. Are we frying up the beans? It's a soup. He fried up. What? Also minty beans. I don't know if anyone's tried minty peas before. Not a big fan. I'm going to be honest. Okay. That is, I'm just going to have to call that out. That is very green. I, <laughs> it doesn't look very appetizing, but you know what? We speed ran through all of those commissions. Definitely only because we had Kazaha. Mm -hmm. Definitely not because of uh, anything else and no skill issues were found along the way. Don't worry about it. And because we're still friendship farming, let's just round this out. Hopefully one day we can get Kave and uh, Baizu off the team. They're both getting pretty close for those tracking. They're both level nine now. Also, I forgot I had Candice that wasn't friendship 10. We just did her video and I, I never finished it. So she's here as well. All right, but time to finally show off this team comp. So so where do we go? I'm a little worried that whatever we fight is going to die before I can do my thing. Let's see what happens, but we might need to go straight to the abyss. The little baby's gonna take a cute picture, then it's gonna trip and just accidentally ignite everyone. Okay, all right. Uh, we're gonna have to find some enemies a little bit tankier than that. How about you guys? <laughs> you got a shield, you can handle this. You're fine, right? Oh my God, I just did 4,000 damage. Uh, that was that was a bit awkward to watch. <laughs> okay, we just have to go to the abyss. I, I'm sorry, that was that was too easy. Usually, I like to show it off a little bit more in the overworld, but what 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 can we do? We just one shot everyone. Maybe bounties and uh, requests. Even requests, I think, would be too easy. Maybe maybe we can chuck a bounty in there. The thing is, this team comp is best against multiple enemies, so against bosses, it's not the best thing. But we can also try that out as well. Invulnerable to geo damage takes increased damage from a sword he uses. I think we have one or two of those. Okay, where's this robot? I'm about to break its kneecaps. Don't tell Michael Bay. He'll be furious. Do you know how expensive those things are? This is leaked footage from the new Transformers movie, okay? Don't don't tell YouTube they're gonna take the video down. Okay, let's give this a go. Ow. Okay. Are you in the vacuum cleaner? Oh, I've I've mispositioned the vacuum cleaner, sir. Can you can you can you just scoot on? Yep, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, kinda. You're, you're kind of there. God, the, the fact that it does this much damage for being kind of AFK is honestly insane to me. I don't think there's anything else we can really test it on except Abyss, right? Maybe I can do one boss for you guys as well. Who's someone that just kind of stands there and dies? <laughs> what about the cryo ridge is fine? It can't really move. Maybe it would be a good test. Let me go get some more energy though. All right, let's try this. I would like one energy particle, please. Just one. Can I get one? Hello? All right, I'm going to just do this to get some energy. All right, here we go. Here we go. One of these, one of these, one of these. Do you hear all those numbers going off? Okay, lovely. And uh, dead. <laughs> the best part of this comp is like, after you set everything up, you can kind of just AFK and watch. Look, I love team comps where I can have the minimal opportunities to display my skill issue, okay? If I just have to press three buttons and it does everything for me, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. So I think maybe we go to a floor that has a bunch of enemies. All right, maybe we start with a quick floor 10 just to show it off and then we'll move on up each time. I just show off the, the damage in different scenarios, but I think honestly, it's probably good for most of this. All right, and I'll take a HP card so I don't skew the damage. Here we go. Okay, why are you not in with the rest of the homies, please? Retake the picture. Hmm, this is actually scuffed to hell. It's so hard to get them all stuck in, <laughs> but it's fine. 
They're not even on fire anymore. Okay. Either way, you kind of get the idea. They kind of died too fast for me to short off. Let's move it up. Let's let's go to something a little bit harder. I mean, beating in like 20 seconds is pretty solid, but we need to go something harder. And we leave Mika behind in that abyss run. He'll find his way out himself, I'm sure. Uh, this time we put out level three Yoi on the other side. Same idea, you take a Q picture, make the dollhouse, one of these. And this time I'm gonna vent you first because they're all split up. There we go. So this time we run over here. Cute little picture again. Bennett. Kazaha. Venti. Uh, they're all dead. There's nothing left to, to hit. Okay. Actually, you know what? I know exactly the spot to show this off on. There, There is a domain that I have been farming that is causing me a lot of grief as a friendship farmer, but I feel like this is the perfect comp for it. Here we go. This is how I reenact my revenge. If you know this domain, you know what is in here. This is one of the worst domains in the game, without a doubt. I would like my team to have some more energy though. And the best part of this comp is that I like it that it uses something that's generally pretty useless like burning and makes it a core part of the comp. Let's give it a go. Okay. Just a billion numbers on the screen. Everything's on fire, just the way I like it. Okay, and then hopefully I can suck him in. Just don't move. Goodbye. That's it. Super simple. Works great at uh, breaking shields as well. Just a good time for everyone, except uh, all the enemies that you're killing. <laughs> Mainly, you know, when I say everyone, I just mean me, actually. Not anyone else, but you get the point. And maybe just the final floor 12 as well, just to show it off one last time. I think the first half is actually a pretty good place to show it off for the final time this video. And uh, other side, level 12, Yao Yao, you know, you might need some help. Maybe a level 12 Layla. You guys got it, I'm sure. Alrighty. So, I keep forgetting that the key spins with me. Can I put her head in the- Oh, she's too short. Oh, that's so cute. Kinda. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's, uh, let's try this here. So, we take a picture of everyone. One of these. Bennett. Kazaha. Alright, and this is when the numbers start coming out. Okay. There's so many numbers on the screen already. We just do it again. And then this is why the vacuum clean is here, okay? He's here to suck everyone up. S sir? Can, can join your friends. Okay, you're gonna have to... He's a little bit naughty. He doesn't want to join his friends. I wasn't fast enough. And then now, time for the Dorito chips. We group them together. Venti EQ. All right. Look at these numbers. What is even happening right now? What is that? There's so many numbers on the screen. There's like actually like 20 different numbers on the screen at the same time. And that's why you play this comp. For those exact scenarios in the abyss where you need to just suck everyone up and completely melt them. This is the way. Obviously, you know, if you're pulling for Kazaha the first time, he works great in like pretty much everything. Anytime you need an elemental reaction that needs more damage, you can slot him in. He does more damage with his burst. He swirls. And honestly, he can, he brings a lot of utility in just crowd controlling everyone. It's an all around great unit, but you also get to do weird stuff like this. And uh, it's a lot of fun. But that brings us to the end of the video. So thank you all bullies for watching till the end. Make sure to like, sub and hit the bell if you have already you can find me streaming several times a week on twitch and you can stay up to date by joining our community discord link to everything down in the description but i love you all take care and i'll see you all in the next video